Vapor Chamber Cooling System in Smartphones This document provides an overview of vapor chamber, VC, cooling systems in smartphones. It explains how these systems work to dissipate heat from internal components, enabling enhanced performance, improved durability, and a compact design. The document details the vaporization, heat absorption, spreading, condensation, and wicking processes involved in the VC cooling cycle, as well as the benefits of using this technology in smartphones. How it works A vapor chamber, VC, cooling system in smartphones is an advanced thermal management solution designed to efficiently dissipate heat generated by the device's internal components. It utilizes a sealed chamber containing a small amount of liquid that undergoes a phase change process to transfer heat away from hot spots. The following steps describe the working mechanism of a vapor chamber. Vaporization. When a component, such as the smartphone's chipset, generates heat, the liquid inside the vapor chamber in close proximity to the heat source begins to boil and transform into vapor. This phase change is crucial for the cooling process. Heat absorption. The vaporization process absorbs a significant amount of thermal energy from the heat source. As the liquid turns into vapor, it pulls the heat away from the component, effectively cooling it down. This absorption of heat is a key aspect of the vapor chamber's functionality. Spreading Once the liquid has vaporized, the vapor spreads rapidly and evenly across the entire surface area of the flat chamber. This spreading action ensures that the heat is distributed throughout the chamber, preventing localized hot spots and promoting efficient heat transfer. Condensation In a cooler region of the chamber, the vapor undergoes condensation, reverting back into a liquid state. This condensation process releases the heat that was absorbed during vaporization, allowing the heat to be dissipated from the chamber. Wicking A specialized internal material, typically a fine stainless steel wire mesh known as a wick, plays a vital role in the vapor chamber's operation. The wick utilizes capillary action to draw the condensed liquid back to the hot areas near the heat source. This continuous cycle of liquid returning to the hot spots ensures efficient and consistent cooling. Dissipation The entire cycle of vaporization, heat absorption, spreading, condensation, and wicking repeats continuously, efficiently transferring heat from the processor to the outer surfaces of the phone. This allows the heat to be dissipated into the surrounding air, maintaining a stable operating temperature for the smartphone. Benefits in Smartphones the implementation of vapor chamber cooling systems in smartphones offers several significant advantages. Enhanced performance. Vapor chambers effectively prevent overheating, which is a common issue in high-performance smartphones. By maintaining lower internal temperatures, the processor can operate at its peak speeds for extended periods without experiencing performance throttling. This results in a smoother and more responsive user experience, especially during demanding tasks such as gaming or video editing, according to GoStake. Improved Durability By keeping internal temperatures lower, vapor chambers reduce heat-related stress on the smartphone's components. Excessive heat can degrade electronic components over time, leading to premature failure. Vapor chambers help to mitigate this risk, potentially extending the device's lifespan and ensuring long-term reliability, notes Gulf News. Compact design. The thin and flat design of vapor chambers is ideally suited for the limited space available in modern smartphones. Unlike traditional cooling solutions such as heat pipes or fans, vapor chambers can be integrated into the device without compromising its slim profile or adding significant bulk. This makes advanced cooling possible without sacrificing the aesthetic appeal or ergonomic design of the smartphone.